Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. I'm Justin. In today's video, I'm going to discuss the true cost down to the penny of what that 10 kilowatt solar system actually cost us to build. It's very important to note that every install will have its own challenges. On ours, we're putting it on a metal roof. There's not many systems to pick from when you're installing that iron ridge system onto a metal roof. If you were putting them on this right here, you got a ton of choices. We didn't have that choice because this is facing west. This is the only structure we had facing south. And the distance that your structure is away from your combiner box, the one I showed you earlier, if it's setting right here, we'd have been much closer for the wiring running from there straight down to the combiner box. So there's different things to think about. This should be a typical cost. So I wanna talk about this in segments, the cost. First, I'm gonna talk about what did the solar panels actually cost us. Then we're gonna move into the racking system. And what the racking system is, is see those little bars over there? That's what's holding those panels to the roof. Then we'll move into the microinverters. What did we pay for all the microinverters that's 27 of them and they're uh, in phase IQ seven pluses. And then next, very important, you're gonna have to have a lot of wiring. And then I'll talk about how much all that wiring cost on this system. And it's something to note is this is not on our house. So we had about a hundred foot of wire that ran over here. And then it ran over you can kind of see where that trash can is sitting down there, where the panel boxes are over to that. So I want to talk about what that cost was. You may be able to save a little bit of money in that situation because you may be closer to your combiner box. Then I'll move into those combiner boxes and the breakers and what that cost. And finally, I'll talk about the solar uh, software that you're going to probably need to use to build out your solar permit if you're submitting this for permits to your county or local authorities you'll want to make sure to use one that's easy and i'll put a link in the description below on that and then finally we'll move into the actual total dollar amount of what that system cost i think you're going to be very surprised on what it took to build a 10 kilowatt solar system that may offset our bill nearly 100 percent currently through our app it's called the enlighten app through Enphase. we're producing right now with the sun right now we're producing over 100 percent of our electricity with a 10 kilowatt system today i'm gonna keep bringing you videos on that solar system so that way you can learn and, and hopefully give you the confidence to build your own system this is not rocket science don't let them tell you that this is rocket science do not pay that cost that I'm hearing all over the internet. We had somebody come out here and price this system for us and they priced that at $85,000. That is Power Home Solar called Pink Solar. You'll see it all over YouTube. I don't trust those guys. They lied to me in so many different areas that I just told them to leave because I understand what solar is and building is. And that price of $85,000 was ridiculous. Wait till you see the final cost on what we actually paid for that. Now that I got all that out of the way, let's jump on the computer. Let's start with the solar panels. We bought 27 S Energy. They're called S, this is the model number, SN370M-10 T's. They're black on black on black. We paid $4,000 for that pallet which had 27 of these solar panels on there. Then we had to pay $558 for shipping to our door for a total of $4,558 for just the solar panels. And this is kind of where we're going to be walking through the racking system, microinverters, wiring and conduit, boxes and breakers, software and permits. And then we're into the final numbers. But I think it's important to know what each one of these may cost. So when you're looking for solar panels, you'll know, okay, this guy bought them for $4,500 or $4,600. You'll want to be kind of around that if you're looking for almost 10 kilowatts. Then we'll move over to the racking system. Now there's a lot of components in a racking system. But in the total, we had $1,781.17 
in the racking system. All the components that make that up, which are the end caps for the rails. We bought Iron Ridge XR10s. You could buy 100s or 1000s. 10s in our design were plenty, so that's what we went with. It includes the L foots that go on to the solar foot, the S5 solar foots, and all of that is right here in this. And you'll see the S5 solar foot right there. We bought 48 of them for $5 a piece. Just to attach it to the roof cost $254.91. The rails were 14 foot long and we paid $675.07. This actual shipping was charged for all of these items at uh, City Electric Supply simply because this one item right here could not be shipped for free because it's so long. It's 14 foot. Had to come on a freight liner. But in total, for the racking system itself, for a 10 kilowatt system, we paid $1,781.17. We'll move into the microinverters. About 27 microinverters. But something happened where I had to buy an extra one, so I bought 28, right? So if you count these numbers right here, it would be a total of 28. What happened was, when I bought one from eBay, the gentleman sent me an IQ7, not an IQ7 Plus. And I was actually being charged over taxes in this. In my state of Kentucky, it's 6% tax. But in eBay, it doesn't adjust for your actual state that you're buying from. I mean, buying in, like I'm buying into Kentucky, it's where I bought from. So some of these were like Florida, California, wherever they were from. Some, somebody had 9% tax total. But in the end, for 28 microinverters, that's IQ, let me open this up, IQ 7 Plus inverters, we paid $2,720.57. That's a really good discount because, as you can see right here, we bought two of these for $50 a piece. These are all brand new as well. So it's new, never used is what the tax uh, credit states. So I was able to get a form that shows that they were brand new. So we got those for $50 a piece. I mean, these are 100 and what? These are about $160 inverters, $170 inverters. We got them anywhere from 86, 80. The 86 is I got 10 of them for $86 a piece. Got it for $80 a piece, $50 a piece, 82, 8250. These are the only ones that cost over $100. I bought five of them at $110 a piece. So in the total, we have $2,720.57 in our in phase microinverters. Moving on to the wiring and conduit. Here we have, uh, there's a lot going on in this little section simply because there's all types of little things you gotta buy. But anyway, there's $1,711.94 total. That's not this right here. All of these right here are in this Menards total of 406 cents. You can kind of get an idea of what's going on here. This are Q cables. That's what you have to have up on the roof to connect the microinverters uh, to the panels and into your J box. You'll need that. You'll need female connectors. So you're terminating the um, Q cable. You'll need, depending on how many branches, I have three branches, so we bought three of them. You'll have to have a J box. That's what I keep calling this Unirac solo box. So we bought that and then I built my box to have in phase connectors into it. And I'll put a picture right here to show you what that looks like. We bought the Iron Ridge clips that are rated to last for 25 years. They're supposed to be exactly what you use with Iron Ridge. I bought metal wire clips as well, which I put over on the rocking system because it was for wire management. So let's go back over there. You'll see right here. I'll put a link in the description for these because I bought them off of Amazon. A hundred of them were $9.99. So I bought 200 because I want to make sure that I had enough. We use these almost primarily for the PV cables coming off of your solar panels. You'll have longer cables and we need to tie those up. So we used metal. You do not want to use the plastic zip ties here. 
because over a couple of years they're going to deteriorate and you're going to have cables laying on your roof. So we will go back to wiring and conduit. I think I already stated this, but we had $1,711.94 in that. We'll move on to the boxes and the breakers. You're going to have the in-phase IQ combiner, which has the Envoy in it. That's going to be very important if you want to track what you're consuming or what you're producing. The AC disconnect, I'll put a link in the description for that one as well. That I bought off of Amazon. We got it for $128, which is a really good deal because I couldn't find that below $170. Then you're going to need a 45 amp, well, you may not, but we needed a 45 amp uh, CH type breaker. That's the breaker that we have for our box and the rating for our panel allowed for us to put a 45 amp in. And then we had to have three breakers, 20 amp breakers for our combiner box. And we needed a two fuses for the Eaton main disconnect. And that all cost us $575.82. All of these costs are including taxes that we paid if I got them out of different states. And the, when I got them in state or got charged our state rate, you'll see them here. Our shipping is in this row here. So all of these costs through these tabs include everything. So software, permits, and just miscellaneous, which is the PV labels. Our solar design, and let me open this up, is through lyrasolar.com. So that's where you're going to design your solar system from. It's only going to cost you $85 to do it. It's well worth it. It's easy to use. Uh, I had to have additional 3D roof layout because our house was brand new and we didn't have a aerial of the actual layout and our building had just been built. So I got 3D roof layouts from this company here, rooforders.com. They completed that within a day, and they only charged me $25 to do that. Our electrical permit with the county for our solar permit package was only $45. And then our PV labels ended up being $11.15 for a total of $175.15. That's everything that we put into this system. We put a lot of sweat equity. But this is all the components, everything that we bought for this solar system, 10 kilowatts. You just seen it. Here are the final numbers. Solar panels, $4,558. The rocking system was $1,781. The inverters were $2,720. The wiring conduit was $1,711. The boxes and breakers, $575. The software permits and miscellaneous, $174. A grand total of $11,521.65. That's an average cost per watt of $1.15 per watt is what it cost us. Now, this is what we have in this system right now. We haven't received a tax credit. We're supposed to receive that next year for the 2022. If we do, we're going to get back in tax credits, $2,995.63, saving us 30 cents per watt and setting our real cost or our real investment in this 10 kilowatt system at $8,526.02 at 85 cents a watt. All right, guys, if you enjoyed this type of content today and you learned something from this video, please be sure to smash that thumbs up button. Leave me a comment below if you've built your own system or you're thinking about building your own system or if you just have questions about what is going on in a solar system that you're looking to build, I may be able to help you out. Leave me a comment, I'll respond. And if you wanna learn more about solar, I'm gonna be talking a lot more about it on my channel. So be sure to subscribe and share with your friends and family. I appreciate you guys sticking with me today, watching the entire video. Hopefully you learned something, and I'll catch you in the next one.